pleasure to introduce to you our National Junior Honor Society president, who is going to speak with you this evening. Amanda Bouquet. Amanda is truly an outstanding rocket. And when I think of the pillars, and I think of someone with great work ethic, and displaying citizenship at all times, Amanda would come to your mind. So Amanda, congratulations, and I'll turn the mic to you. Welcome, friends and family. Today is a very special day for each one of our inductees and their families. I'm so proud to say that you're a palm points for the lead student body. Since the beginning of sixth grade, you have worked hard to be a model student and succeed academically. Tonight, you are being recognized for this hard work by becoming a member of the National Junior Honor Society. This society is truly defined by its members. Members of NGHS use the five pillars to guide them on their journey. The pillars alone do not have any meaning until they are used into action. The first pillar is scholarship. To me, scholarship is trying your hardest and always doing your best. It is never giving up and accepting less than one is capable of. I'm always thinking about school and my grades. I'm always striving to improve my academic grades. I want to know that, whatever my grades are, it is the best I could have possibly done, that I gave it my all and didn't accept less. Scholarship defines you as a student. Leadership is another NGHS pillar. To me, Leadership calls on us to be a role model for others. As members, you must set good examples for others to follow. This is within the society, school, family, and community. Leadership is also helping others to reach their full potential, as well as encourage peers to apply themselves in class and do their best. It may be helping younger students in school or on sports team, or it may be helping a citizen, a sibling with a task at home. Leadership always leads to service. Service is the third pillar in National Junior Honor Society. Service is giving up your time to help others. This pillar has taught me how good it feels to see the smile on the stranger's face after you just help them. Service is volunteering your time within your community to make it a much better place. Service is helping your elderly neighbor with lawn care or grocery shopping. Service is giving time selflessly to make someone's day a little easier. Through leadership and service, we begin to apply the pillar of citizenship. Citizenship is being involved with your school and community. This involves following the laws and guidelines within our communities. Citizenship is ensuring that the rights are given as citizens are followed and that no injustice is served. These four pillars, scholarship, leadership, service, and citizenship, all lead to character. Character is how we become individuals. These pillars help us mold into the person we are meant to be. Character is always making the right choice, even when no one is watching. Character is always giving 110% on everything that you do. Character is being a role model that others look up to. Character is helping others and giving of your time. Character is following the laws and making sure everyone has the same rights. As a member, you must define these pillars through your actions, because alone, they are just words without meaning. I give them meaning by applying them to my life every single day. How will you define these pillars at the end of your eighth grade year? How will you let these pillars define you as a person? Thank you and congratulations. I want to say how proud I am of the 43 students who are inducting tonight into Palm Beach Chapter of the National Junior Honor Society. In speaking with your teachers, I know how deserving each and every one of them is of being bestowed, of this honor being bestowed upon them. Prior to introducing our newest members, I would like to take a moment to talk about the NJHS organization. National Junior Honor Society has been recognizing the accomplishments of middle school students since 1929. There are five pillars that are part of the NJHS Society. 
scholarship, leadership, service, citizenship, and character. These five pillars have been the cornerstone within the society as a guide to selecting students who go above and beyond the required academics. Each spring, our chapter of the National Junior Honor Society begins to look at student achievement during their sixth and seventh grade years. Students have, who have earned an overall 3.5 GPA are placed on the initial possible inductee list. 